हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम आरती आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर फोर्टीन फ्रॉम मार्च प्रोग्रेसिव प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट मैडम स्पीकर आई राइज टू प्रेजेंट द बजट फॉर द ईयर 2016 टू 17 I am presenting this budget when the global economy is in serious crisis. Global growth has slowed down from 3.4% in 2014 to 3.1% in 2015. Financial markets have been battered and global trade has contracted. amidst all these global headwinds the indian economy has held its ground firmly thanks to our inherent strengths and the policies of this government a lot of confidence and hope continues to be built around india the international monetary fund has held india as a bright spot amidst a slowing global economy the world economic forum has said that india's growth is extraordinarily high we accomplished this despite very unfavorable conditions and despite the fact that we inherited an economy of low growth high inflation and zero investor confidence in government's capability to govern we converted these difficulties and challenges into opportunities let us look at our achievements compared to the last 3 years of the previous government when growth had decelerated to 6.3% the growth of gdp has now accelerated to 7.6% this was possible not with a standing the contraction of global exports by 4.4% compared to 7.7% growth in world exports during the last 3 years of the previous government cpi inflation was at 9.4% during the last 3 years of the previous government under our government cpi inflation has come down to 5.4% providing big relief to the public this was accomplished despite two consecutive years of monsoon shortfall of 13% compared to normal rainfall in the last 3 years of the previous government our external situation is robust the current account deficit has declined from 18.4 billion us dollars in the first half of last year to 14.4 billion this year it is projected to be 1.4% of gdp at the end of this year our foreign exchange reserves are the highest ever level of about 350 billion us dollars our initiatives in the last 21 months have not only placed the economy on a faster growth trajectory but have bridged the trust deficit created by the previous government 
we believe in the principle that money with the government belongs to the people and we have the sacred responsibility to spend it prudently and wisely for the welfare of our people especially the poor and the downtrodden we have increased our plan expenditure at the rea stage in 2015 to 16 in contrast to the usual practice of reducing it we achieved this despite adopting the 14th finance commission recommendations which increased devolution of the states by 55% we must now look ahead the risks of further global slowdown and turbulence are mounting this complicates the task of economic management for india it has three serious implications for us first we must strengthen our firewalls against these risks by ensuring macroeconomic stability and prudent fiscal management second since foreign markets are weak we must rely on domestic demand indian markets to ensure that india's growth does not slow down and third we must continue with the pace of economic reforms and policy initiatives to change the lives of our people for the better we see these challenges as opportunities the financial years 2015 to 16 and 16 to 17 have been and will be extremely challenging for government expenditure the 14th finance commission has reduced the central share of taxes to 58% from to 68% in the financial year 2015 to 16 we managed to improve upon the budgeted expenditure due to revenue increase not with a standing the steep reduction in the central share of taxes the next financial year 2016 to 17 will cast an additional burden on account of the recommendations of the 7th central pay commission and the implementation of defense OROP the government therefore has to prioritize its expenditure we wish to enhance expenditure in the farm and rural sector the rural sector the infrastructure sector and provide for recapitalization of the banks this will address those sectors which need immediate attention once the government discharges these priority obligations it shall then focus on other areas which are also of utmost priority to the government while increasing the outlay of various social sector programs the government will undertake three major schemes to help the weaker sections of the society the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana has already been announced to protect the farmer from the adverse consequences of nature
the farmer will pay a nominal amount of insurance premium and get the highest ever compensation in the event of any loss suffered a health insurance scheme which protects one third of india's population against hospitalization expenditure is also being announced stop